The condition node represents the if-then-else statement that is common in most forms of coding and programming. It means that if an operator condition, whether it's greater than, less than, equal, or others, is met, then the output is a specific value. If the condition isn't met, then a different value is run to the output. The first and second terms are the two inputs that will be compared for the condition. The operation is the condition operator to compare the first and second terms. And you can access them in the attribute editor here. You see we have equal, not equal, greater than, greater or equal to, less than, or less than, or equal to. Color if true represents the values of the output if the condition is met. Whereas color if false represents the values of the output when the condition isn't true. In the previous two videos, we were working on building a stretchy arm, and the condition node is the next phase of that setup. In the last video, we got the stretch value, but we can't plug that into the joints as it is right now, because it will cause the joints to scale incorrectly and not bend the right way. So we need a condition node to tell Maya that if the distance value here is greater then the max length of the joints, meaning that when the arm is fully extended, then the joints can stretch. Otherwise, keep the joints at their default value. In the node editor, I have the multiply, I have the multiply divide node that has the stretch value, the plus minus average node that has the max, uh, the max joint length total, and the distance dimension shape node that has the distance value. And we are going to need all of these for the condition node. So I'm going to create the condition node here. Now the first term is what is the value we want to test, which in this case is the distance, and the second term is the is the joint value we want to compare it to, which is the max length of the joints. Now, as you remember, in the previous podcast for the multiply divide node, I connected the max length first and then duplicated the multiply divide node so I could get the value without keeping the direct connection. This was again to avoid cycles. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So the max length goes into the second term. So I'll drag the output 1D into there. So you see the connection is there, but I don't want the direct connection. So the easiest way to do to fix that is to just duplicate the value, or duplicate the node, I mean. where So it keeps the value without the direct connection, and I can get rid of the first one. So I can hide this plus minus average node now. So now that I've connected the max length into the second term, I now need to connect the distance, since that's the value we want to test, into the first term. Now I want to make sure that the operation is what I want. So I'm going to set it to, you can either set it to greater than or greater or equal to. The value should result in exactly the same. I'm just going to do greater or equal to. And lastly, I'm going to connect the stretch value that I got from the multiply divide node into the color if true. What this is doing is if the distance of the distance node is greater then the max length of the joints run this value. And you see right now the first term is actually less than the second term, so this value won't get run until the first term is greater. And so right now the value is currently going to equal 1 because the condition hasn't been met yet, which is what I want. And now, with everything connected and set up, 
Now I can actually connect it into the joints to make sure that it works. So I'm going to select the first and second joints here since I am going to connect this condition to the scale x values of the joints. So I'm going to bring these guys in. And open them up. And here's our scales. I'm going to do out color R into scale X. Out color R into scale X. Now, if I move the control around, you should see that once the arm is fully extended, the arm begins to stretch. But the arms do not stretch when the arm is bent. With that done, the next video will go into the blend colors node.